All right, easy way to test the AC clutch coil and the circuitry that goes to it. Um, you always want to check uh, the actual integrity of the clutch itself and uh, the compressor. And this should spin. This is your uh, this is your clutch right here, your pulley, and this has shims in it. And it's shimmed so you have a, a specific gap in between here. Um, you should be able to rotate the compressor uh, by hand, and it should have some drag. It should not spin, you know, freely or free free wheel or anything like that. Um, it should just be nice and smooth. Um, you should have a slight gap here, but not a huge gap. Uh, check the basic condition of your wires that go to it. This is a two wire uh, clutch coil and there's also a one wire which is actually two but the the ground wire would be grounded to the case and that'd be where it gets its ground. In this case it's got a PCM ground and a um, then your power wire. And basically the coil is just electromagnetic and when you apply power and ground it electromagnetically pulls this clutch in which um, basically makes this all one unit. So when the pulley turns it's going to turn this. When the clutch is off or the AC is off your, your pulley is just spinning uh, freely and it's not turning your compressor. Uh, but the quickest way and easiest way to check the circuitry, uh, diffuse, and uh, make sure it actually actuates is, is to just do it from the relay. And you can do this on most vehicles. You can't do it on all, but on most vehicles you can. You're going to start by finding your actual AC relay. In this case, it's right here. And that corresponds to right here. Pull your relay out. And you got 85 and 86 is what controls the relay, and you got 87 and 30, uh, which sends power to here. <clears throat> uh, so 80, you got 87 and 30. One of them is going to be a fused, uh, fused power from. The fuse, and then one's going to move that power to the coil. Um, so you look on the bottom, find 87 and 30. Um, on your fuse, it may be different numbers, but usually it's 87 and 30. And here they are, right here. They're actually diagonal. So 30 is going to be here or uh, here, and 87 is going to be right here. So we're going to connect these two. Um, you just use a piece of wire to do that or a paper clip. Um, I usually use a power probe, but I'm trying to show uh, how basically anybody can do it. Alright, so you can hear that click. And then when it's in, you should not be able to turn this. This should not turn. And if you can still turn it when it's in, in um, that would be an indicator that your, your clutch is worn out. But there, that should just stay in nice and solid like that. And that's that. You can also test it right from here, but it, uh, you would have to back probe the wire and uh, you'd really want to use like a power probe or something like that. Um, if this, if doing it at the relay didn't, didn't work, then I would move down here for sure and test it right at the coil. If you test it at the coil and it doesn't um, actuate, or if it doesn't actuate at all, uh, you'd be looking at, uh, on most compressors you can actually buy just the clutch, pulley, and bearing, and coil um, all together. You can usually get them at AutoZone or through the dealership. 
and then that'll save you actually having to change and replace an entire compressor which gets pretty costly um, you can usually get these for you know the the clutch kit um, with the coil usually for around two hundred to three hundred dollars uh, even from the dealer sometimes it's that cheap doesn't sound cheap but when you compare it to a fifteen hundred dollar you know AC replacement it's pretty cheap well that's my video